Okay. So we'll start with the things I like. And there are some pretty solid things here. They're the following. Club face is at a 90 degree angle and squarely positioned behind the center of the ball. That's key. Club and ball are positioned neutrally in the middle of your stance for an iron like this. Perfect posture. Pretty good angle to your upper body as far as spine angling. you got Stricker to your right to see that as well. Grip. Both hands working together well as a unit. The only couple things I would suggest is, one, your right arm is too extended and locked. It needs to be softer in the grip pressure and tough. Because to do that, you'll be able to square your shoulders up like you can see with Stricker. Your shoulders are lined up open in every swing I witnessed. So that softening of the right arm will relax you and square up your shoulders. Second thing would be just try and stay consistently on the balls of your feet or more athletically balanced. A couple swings you were there. Couple, you're back on your heels. The balance the is key. The consistency is exactly. So if we get a pre-shot routine where those two things are happening, everything that puts you in a base to make it. If they're not, you have to recover. Yeah. That's what makes it tough. So we're going to watch the takeaway now, and you can see how the club head has to get kind of lifted, what we call fanned open the face of the club with your wrists and hands to help basically release that elbow because it's locked, right? So you go again now. You open the face up with your wrists. The elbow now folds and the club goes up your body. As you go to the top of your swing, you can see how the legs spread apart. See the daylight between your knees? Because yeah. when your arms and hands pull the club back, they pull everything apart, right? Yep. Yeah. If we can get the club to go back with your left shoulder and arm to return, your lower body can stay quieter, tighter. So now you have to try and throw the club back towards the ball, which you do, squaring it up on this particular swing, but pulling it a little left and finishing in balance. If you can get that club to fall on your lower body, you'll be able to turn forward and square it up far easier in the future. So it's basically less moving parts, lets things repeat more often. Right. All right. So fundamental setup, those two keys for any club.